No, shut it off. I did the music. Shut it off. I'm not telling you to shut up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, boy, so the thing is about to start in three minutes, so. Christian! God, I'm getting I'm getting chased. Oh, no! Oh god! Bro, I'm getting chased by a freaking eagle, bro! <laughs> Because we're like, supposedly Anthony, we're annoying to Anthony. Hey, if he tells me don't go to game chat, just say sure. Just say yeah. Sky, 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 the boom. Um, sky, sky, things, nice daggers, emerald, swords, wonder swords, whatever. Stupid. Um, 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 where's all the, there's all the guy. Quick, 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 When is it about to start? When is it about to start? I'm about to go cook bro. I'm about to go cook I'm about to go cook Oh, dang it. Cook up! Cook up! Cook up! Cook up! Wait, how do you... Wait, how do you like bounce? How do you bounce up though? Special event. The trailer for his upcoming film, Tenet. Uh, everyone is so excited about this film. And I think now, given everything going on in the world, it is more important than ever that we can still gather, be it virtually, for a moment like this, just like going to the movies. 
Uh, before we get to the trailer, I do have a special guest to introduce. Please welcome the star of Tenet, John David Washington. John, welcome to the party. Ooh, what's up, Fort? No. You. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, this is the first yeah. time we've had someone like you inside of the game world. What do you make of all this? Everyone gathering, millions of people gathering to to watch your movie trailer. Oh my God, I um, I'm overwhelmed with joy and uh, just humbled to be a part of this great community of, of of beautiful people. So thank you for having me, everybody. Thank you guys. Well, I know you uh, you have a, a gaming history as well. I know we were talking before, and you've been playing games yeah. for, for a long time. Tell us a bit about uh, your gaming background. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to date myself, but from my, my Nintendo Game Boy to my, my Nintendo to my Sega Genesis, NBA Live 95 was a big deal for me. Uh, when they introduced Breaking the Glass with Shaquille O'Neal, I used to love that effect. And then my all-time favorite sports game. Uh, was NFL ESPN 2K5 with Terrell Owens on the cover. I think it revolutionized the uh, gaming, the sport uh, as far as the game is concerned. And um, it just, it, it gave me a greater appreciation for football and what uh, what goes into it strategy-wise and everything. So uh, I, I love it. And NBA 2K, obviously, I play that yeah. uh, religiously. I know I saw your, your PlayStation controller. It looks like the, the thumbstick you wore out almost, right? Hey. That's right, but I, I but I, and it's still with me. I still use it. I haven't upgraded yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. All right. Well, I'm sure this uh, this controller probably went around the world with you as you were making this uh, this big new movie, uh, Tenet. And I mean, everyone is is so excited about this, and I'm sure you're excited. You, you finally get to talk about it, right? Woo! Yes, I'm super excited. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Um, just to be a part of it. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Christopher Nolan, so uh, this is a dream yeah. come true. Well, uh, we've all been uh, wanting to see more of it. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. The world premiere of the brand new trailer for the first time ever right here Come in on. Fortnite. Check it out. Come on. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Use it carefully. To do what I do. I need some idea of the threat we face. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm again here. No. Something worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Why don't you bring me in? You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel? No. Inversion? Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. Oh. Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. Duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with. I thought you were going to say nuts. This is where our worlds collide. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. Well, that from here hasn't happened yet. There are people in the future who need us. Who need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No, it's so dramatic. 
Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Oh my God, there you go. The new trailer for Tenet. Uh, John, David, uh, more questions, maybe a few more answers, <laughs> but uh, what an amazing, uh, what an amazing epic film. Uh, tell me, I mean, what was your reaction when you saw that trailer? Because you obviously, you know, spent a long time filming this thing, but the way yeah. that, you know, the way it's cut together and the, and the, the, the sort of the, the questions that it's prompting, um, what was your reaction when you saw it? Um, I was overwhelmed with, with joy, um, uh, disbelief suspended in that. Um, uh, uh, I was admiring how well the beard was kept up. <laughs> um, but uh, really, it, it's just, you know, it's interesting because there are just little, you know, nuggets of um, information and just breadcrumbs of information about the movie that I was surprised that he was going to reveal. And um, I, I love that he did. And um, it's just... I, you know, being a fan, a huge fan of Christopher Nolan, this seems like, you know, we're familiar with his films. We obviously know his films, but this seems like something different. It seems like this is where he's about to take us for the next 10 to 15 years of filmmaking. The scale and the epicness of it, that's what just blows me away to see all those different countries. And, and for you, I, I assume you sort of had a world tour in a way. Uh, it looks like, I mean, you were in India, Italy, like all these different places. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you really filmed in all those locations, right? Yeah, we were there from, you know, Tallinn, Estonia to Mumbai, India, Amalfi Coast, uh, Copenhagen. We, it, it was, it was, and uh, to me, it just gives all, it gives the film so many different personalities. There's, there's an international um, um, uh, environment that's set with these characters that they're placed in. And, you know, what you saw is where we were. It's not, uh, yeah. it's not green screened. You know, we had, we had some cameras out there and we filmed it and at these beautiful locations and uh, sort of in these interesting sort of, uh, alien like looking planet looking places as well so it, it was um it, it, which gave it gave me more motivation to like just give it my all because of the set pieces and where we are so detailed and and specific to the story that we're trying to tell you know and when you when you watch the trailer i recommend highly recommend watching it again and again you get more answers you get more answers you know Oh, I just said there, there, every little line of dialogue, I'm sure, has to be, you know, kind of reverse engineered and dissected. There's a lot going on in this film, like you would expect from Christopher Nolan. But the, the epicness matched with, you know, such an interesting narrative and huge stunt sequences, action sequences. Um, yeah. uh, I, I wanted to ask you about that, because from a stunt perspective, I mean, you're doing things that are not supposed to be humanly possible. And I mean, it's just uh, right. like the reverse repelling or whatever you call that. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much you can share about what's really going on there, but I, how did you film those things? Um, uh, Chris and Hoyta von Hoyta, I had a camera and, uh, and we, and we, <laughs> and, and they yelled action and cut. No, but like it, it was, it was some of the moves that we were doing, especially those hand to hand sequences, and uh, the physicality of it all. Some of our, our stunt guys, George Cottle and company, you know, they've never done some of these moves before. They, they were sort of inventing them for this movie specifically. So it's so exciting that, um, that uh, we were, were going to be able to introduce this, you know, new style of fighting, this new style of combat, you know what I mean? And um, again, to be seen in a theater, in a movie, on a big movie screen, it's going it's, it's, yeah. it's to be so vibrant. Oh, my God telling you no and, and again this what i love about this film too is that it's, it's going to be thought provoking i think you know it's the thing you want to experience with your friends talk about afterwards and pull apart yes. and i'm sure even as you yes. guys were filming you were trying to kind of you know understand all oh. the layers of this because again like <laughs> what we day. see is only the surface <laughs> every day I, I was bugging every day i had questions for him you know and uh and but he, he was very gracious and he answered them very calmly and patiently with me uh he, he uh it was important that uh, we were able to track the, uh, the actors, track the story correctly, so we can tell it the best way we could. And uh, so he was very patient with us. And I say that very politely. <laughs> well, 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 you're lucky that you get to get to text Chris Nolan when you have a question about the film. The rest of us just have to carefully dissect the trailer and go to Reddit right. to try and understand what's really going on there. But I got to say, it's like so many hints. And that's what we love, I think, is like, you know, slowly peeling back the layers of this, um, but right, still right. having such an interesting um, heartfelt story that I'm sure is at the core of this film, like all of his work. Um, right. And yeah, it's, it's, it's so exciting to, to get a glimpse at this. 
Um, the the airplane sequence at the end uh, of the trailer that was completely unexpected. I didn't know we were going to see that or that was even in the film. Um, yeah, how, is that like a practical effect with like a real seven forty seven? Yeah, that that was a real plane, that, and that was a real building that they crashed that plane into, and we, you know, cast and crew all witnessed it. It was epic, you know, it was it was incredible, and uh, you know, we all cheered and, and hurrayed and hurrahed uh, when they yelled "cut" after Chris felt like he got it. So, um, uh, yeah, that what you saw is really what happened. At well, least the night uh, I was there. <laughs> no, I got to say, uh, the scale of this looks absolutely incredible. Uh, we all can't wait to see it. And I think I speak for everyone here in Fortnite um, with being so honored that, you know, you and Chris decided to bring Tenet first to Fortnite to show the world Fort this Dorm. way. <laughs> Not no, this is, uh, again, we're making history. And uh, thank yeah. you so much, John David, for, for, for joining us. You made it into a video game, finally. I did it. Um, did it. Hopefully the first of many. I uh, <laughs> hope so. hope so. I hope so. Awesome. All right, John David Washington, thanks for joining us. Thanks again to John David Washington. And before I go, there is one final surprise. This summer, we will be screening an iconic Christopher Nolan full-length feature film right here on the big screen. Stay tuned for more details. Hello stream, um, bro, that was actually a pretty sick trailer, not gonna lie, no joke, it was literally a pretty sick trailer, which was cool, and hope, I'm sorry that I moved a lot, I, I, from now on I should actually stop moving a lot, so, yeah, um, if you guys like the trailer, please remember to leave a little like, and say, ooh, this, and leave your opinion on the trailer, I, um, like, really? The trailer looks really good. I actually might want. I actually kind of want to watch that movie. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So um. So we're just gonna play some squad probably because my friend would probably want to play someone. He's gonna invite him. Alright, Chris. I'm gonna invite. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna join. Um, Jacob and I'm gonna. I'm gonna invite you guys. I'm gonna invite you. Whoa, buddy, why you gotta be like? You can go to the game chat. I need dollars in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. It's probably Anthony. I don't know if it is, but like, probably if it is, then probably. Because I feel like Anthony would watch the stream because, yeah. Yeah, yeah, COVID, yeah, it sucks, yeah, yeah, COVID, yeah, sucks, yeah, COVID, yeah, sucks, yeah, COVID, yeah, sucks, okay. Christian. Christian. I'll go to game chat probably. Okay, I'll uh, just play. Um. Hola, go me estas, man. Hola, go me estas, boys. You know, Jacob doesn't want to play with us. What you say? You don't want to play with us? Sounds like it. He's been a bitch to me. Okay. Do you, want, do you want to play squads or, or just creative? Yeah, no, I don't want to play squads. Okay. Can we join you guys or? I guess. I'm going to go play Minecraft after this. Oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Chris, do you want to just leave? Because he said he's going to play Minecraft after this. 
racism. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Let it throw, let it throw, can't hold it back any throw, let it blow, let it blow, I'm going to blow you in smithereens, and yeah, whoa Christian, language, oh yeah, Huh? 
Ha ha, you got pranked. Ha ha ha, you, ha, ha, you got pranked. Ha ha, you got pranked, bro. You got pranked. I was joking, bro. Ha ha ha, nothing. <laughs> Not Christian. <laughs> nothing happened, bro. Nothing happened. I was just joking. Yeah, Christian Mo said the N-word on the stream. Yeah, he said the N-word, didn't you? <laughs> he said the N-word, bro. It is what it is. Christian. My place how it says. Okay, I'm gonna pass that one. My turn. Christian, Simon says to go kill your team. <laughs> Simon says to uh, make your subscribers subscribe to my channel. <laughs> wow, racist. Yeah. That is so racist. Why do you have to be so racist? Push it. Why you gotta be so racist? Why you gotta be so racist? Yes you are, yes you are, yes you are, yes you are. <laughs> Christian, I was joking, but you admitted it. Wow. Wow, Anthony, you hear that? Wait, what? Wait, what'd you say, Christian? I didn't say that one more time for the one time one more time for the stream, bro. One time one more time for the fans. You lost your virginity? Wait, what the? Oh my! I just realized something, Christian. Wait, what the hell? That was so weird. No, no joke. My, we got my pickaxe, my, my double sword pickaxe in um, creative was literally, it looked like a normal pickaxe. <laughs> Don't take YouTube seriously. Well, I thought it was about. I, I thought. I thought. It was, I thought like Christian was about to confront. I was. About, I thought Christian was about to confront. It's like that with me. I'm sorry, Anthony. <laughs> Christian, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Bro, where is this freaking comment? I got a thousand dollars in my pocket. Christian, I got a thousand dollars in my pocket. What you gonna do about it? One hundred pennies? Why one hundred? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, because he can do it. <laughs> It's a normal it's a normal thing, bro. 
And then you're gonna do a pawn pawn, bro. There it is. But I'm so annoyed right now. I'm not so annoyed. Yep, pretty sure that's it. Look from home base. A doomed expedition. Yeah, I'm too, bro, I'm super annoyed. No hope of escape. Yeah, I remember That's super annoyed. For asking. Let's see what bro, we're, we're like, we're like freaking like so mad Stand that we can like, and like freaking array. like so we want to place it as close to the point of impact as possible. I've marked the location on your map. Bro, I was so mad. But like my, bro, like my, my head can go like turn to flames. Like literally no joke. Why does it always have to be me when, bro? Why does it always have to be me when it's like when everyone's doing this freaking same thing? Discrimination, be like, oh, shit. <laughs> Christian, you know what's funny when so. Christian, Christian, don't you don't you just love it when? When you get you did, when you get muted for doing something that someone else was doing too, and like you know, like bro, it's like so, it's like so fun. Deploy the scanner. Okay, look out. The scanner's taking damage. Everyone get Wait, back. What? The meteor is damaging everything that gets too close. I don't think it comes in peace. We'd better move to the edge of the crater before dropping the next scanner. Check your map before placing the next scanner. Christian, I need your help. Save the world.
the enemy. Bro, Yankee with no brim. Yankee with double Yankee. <laughs> I like down to play squads right now. I'm gonna take that video. Oh frick, what the frick? Wait, is he coming from everywhere? It's not, because if it is, I'm literally going to die here. No, it's not 21, it's 23. Fuck it. Why don't you watch me? <laughs> That's racist, you know. I'm gonna bring you like some help. Can you invite me right now? Oh, <laughs> 